Bomb, a look at our forecast. Hopefully it's good if people are wanting to make a drive this weekend. The weekend looks great for that. And let me tell you, hot chocolate and that cinnamon bread, Perfect. Awesome stuff up there. If you haven't had it, you need to try that. Uh, but for us in the short term, tonight, tomorrow, we are talking about a big weather story being this cold front coming on in. Going to bring us some thunderstorms. A couple could get strong and then colder temperatures will follow behind it. So you need your umbrella and eventually your jacket, too, as we get to a little later on this week. Cloudy now from a high Regency camera here. Kind of gloomy. 74, though. It's really warm with those southerly winds. Eventually, we'll get those northerly winds to knock those temperatures down. Upper 60s from Coleman to Jasper. 74, Tuscaloosa, Talladega. Back to Ash at 72 and 70 over in Alexander City. You can see the cloud cover building back in. We'll continue seeing that throughout the rest of the evening hours here. All ahead of our cold front located here back to our west. You can see just along the front we are keeping track of a few things out there. We do again have a tornado watch kind of just part of Louisiana back into Texas. Fortunately though, not expecting tornadoes here, which is good news. But with the strong, more humid air coming up from the south, that could lead to some stronger thunderstorms with some gusty winds throughout tomorrow. You can see our risk here at level one out of five here. And again, we're just talking about some maybe damaging winds, possibly one or two storms pulsing up to get those 60 mile per hour winds, but I'm not expecting significant, but do be prepared for some breezy conditions overall. So as we go in through the rest of the evening here, a couple showers popping up at 11 o'clock by tomorrow morning, overnight tomorrow morning, could see some gusty storms out there and some heavy rain. So as you get out the door, get the kids to school, you go to work, it could be a little dicey out there. Keep that in mind. Now, starting at 6 a.m., that's we could see some of those stronger thunderstorms till about lunchtime. You can see some of these developing across the area here. So we're going to have a very active morning on Tuesday. Fortunately, by the time the kids come home from school, it's out of here. So that's good news. Maybe a sprinkle or two through the evening hours here by 7 o'clock. We're in the 60s. Then front number two will move through on Wednesday. We'll start off with some sunshine and spots, clouds and others in the 50s. But as we get throughout the afternoon, temperatures actually will fall throughout the afternoon in the wake of that front, and that's going to be our start of our cold blast coming in. Now, all said and done, maybe a half an inch over northwest Alabama, possibly an inch of rain here, but along and south of I-20, that's where we could see those rain totals over about an inch of rain. Much needed rain, too, with all those drought conditions out there. But the big story will be the cold there following behind it, especially as we head into Thursday and Friday. We're waking up on Thursday morning to temperatures in the mid to upper 30s, so we could see some patchy frost out there. By the afternoon, we only rebound to the upper 50s to around 60 degrees. Friday, even colder, lower to middle 30s. So we're talking possibly freezes out there and frosty conditions. So get ready to prepare your plants, either bring them indoors or cover them as we head into Friday. By Friday afternoon, not much warm up, lower to middle 50s across the area. So we're going to continue seeing some chilly air, and that'll spill into Saturday, too. We'll start off Saturday morning, also with a little bit of some light freeze and a frost, 34, 58 Saturday. But high pressure sitting over us builds to the east of us warming us back up to 70 by Monday ahead of another front in a couple of